rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. So it is that we are called to do the same. Our suffering is unto the life of another person. I mean, our families Amen. do well by our suffering. If, if it became all about Wilbur Johnson, then my children would not have done well. My whole life would not have done well because I would have used whatever strength or influence I had to cause them to be what I wanted them to be instead of empowering them to be what God has ordained them to be. And exactly. I think that's... Exactly. That's... that's, that's 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 learning the role of parent, bro. That that's yeah. something you it, it it takes it takes God to teach somebody that. Yeah, it is. Because I don't know any parent that does not try to control their child to be a thing. Come on now. To a certain point. And, now and we that, raise them and we teach them, you know, certain values and. Uh, and, and what to do and what's, what not to do, how to be a pr pretty much good citizen. Uh, yeah. But to raise a child in a form and fashion to allow God yes. to use them, that, that, that takes, it takes God to put that in a person, in a parent, right. to do that. Because I know that there is so much that I could have done for my kids by not raising them right. the way I raised them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, put, I, I, I put restrictions on them. You know, I I, uh, I hindered them in some things. You know, I didn't. I, I didn't. Uh, so that you can learn the consequences of ignorance. Yeah. There, there's a scripture that says, transfer your children and nurture and admonition of the Lord. Yeah. But we gain that as we go, and it begins to make more sense to us, I think, as we experience this life, and we make those mistakes. As uh, Peter was saying just a second ago, it's by the word where the blood of the Lamb and the word of testimony. We're going to make some mistakes. This is a right. learning curve. Right. But our right. children should be, to me, our children are better. I mean, I came to Christ when I was in my 20s. My children were raised on the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? They were raised, they were brought up in it. So a lot of things that I'm still trying to grasp, they don't know nothing else other than that. You know, but let's segue a little bit back into we start off with. When, when you, look right where I'm coming from. We use Chinatown as a metaphor. Right, brother, as I just want you to say, we use Chinatown as a metaphor. When we raise our children, or even when we do a street ministry and bringing people to the gospel, how are we painting the image of the kingdom to be in their life? That's a good question. <laughs> how, how should we is a better question. Well, and, and you know what? And don't forget that. So that should be that the when they see you in your conduct just like when they're both see christ in us right it's, it's it's christ was not based on his physical image it was based on his his conduct his walk right his love his compassion i mean when you think about christ even think about even john 3 16 itself says god so loved the world right mm -hmm. somebody see love in you what, let's use the example of the woman caught in the act of adultery. I see the movie. I don't know if y'all seen the movie, but and it is portrayed, I think, twice in different movies. What was Christ? Was Christ demonstrating the kingdom in that situation? And was the world presenting itself with the ones picking up the stones? Yeah. You see what I'm saying, Brother Addison? Yeah. It's, 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 it is our nature, it's our conduct that's the the image we want to raise. Because you know, sometimes you raise some kids, you can either use your own child to a degree. He is not acting like a fool. Now, he may act like a fool sometimes, but he does not necessarily, you see what I'm saying? That is not his norm. <clears throat> you know what I mean? 
That, that's not his character because he conforming to the image of his pet, you know, the environment that he's growing in. Yeah. And and and, and I'm saying is that when people bring, we bring people in the kingdom, even to ourselves, we should be conforming to a character, a, a nature. I think, Bishop, you know, when we were talking about the, when we were looking at Revelation the other day, we were talking about the spirit of God or the spirit of the Lord. And then, you know, we kind of say it was like three or seven spirits of God. And, and, and it was talking about the different types of characteristics of the Holy Spirit. When we talk about the image and we use the metaphor of Chinatown, what is the image of the person in the kingdom of God? What is your, when you're conforming or transforming to the image of God, what is it? Is it a physical characteristic or it is a conduct, a nature, a continent that, that, that we're trying to paint? It's the attributes of, attributes, the, I mean, yeah. of the life that is in you. Uh, yes, sir. It, it, you're talking about the attributes Come on now. of the nature uh -huh. of the life that is in you. Yes. The attribute. There you go. That, that's what I'm trying to say. That's what we want to portray to people who're talking about coming to the kingdom. Is they should see those attributes. That's a good. I like that word. It's, it's the fruit of the spirit. It's love. Yeah. There you go. Joy. Peace. Long suffering. Peace. Meekness. Come on. Goodness. Yeah. Listen. And in the case you didn't know it. All of these attributes, these are the ones that he listed in Galatians chapter 5. Right. Now, in 1 Corinthians 12, he said, all those speak with tongues, all those prophesy. Yeah. But in Galatians chapter 5, everybody's supposed to have this. Woo! Come on! You know, the, the, the attributes that were demonstrated by Christ are what we should be like. Yes. Character-wise. It's going to be expressed differently because some are loud, some are yeah. like collard greens, some like turnip greens. Yes. But we should have those basic characteristics. Long suffering should be a yes. part of our nature. Patience. Uh, patience, meekness, gentleness, faith, forgiveness, Come selflessness, on. servitude, willing to serve, you know. Uh, those those are, and, and, and oh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> this is what we are actually entering into. That's why I, I, I'm so, I'm excited about our country. I know that didn't have anything. I mean, the country that we've been placed in, the United right. States. I believe we are coming to that new birth as a nation. That's what I'm saying. I truly believe that the sons of God have been manifested in this country to show what the kingdom really looks like. Come on, brother. Now so, you're talking. And, and, and that's, that's, it's not making other folk do what you want them to do. Right. It's you doing the right thing in front of those folks. Right. <laughs> it's not making them do the right thing, but it's you being an example of righteousness yeah. and allowing them the, 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 the option that God has given us. The choice. Right thing. You do the right thing first. Right. And you can tell them to do the right thing. Come on now. Bring all, <laughs> bringing all things into obedience. Once your own obedience has been fulfilled. There you go. <laughs> get the mode out your own eye before you start pointing at the beam. I mean, the beam out your own eye before you start pointing at the mode of somebody else. Exactly. And that one thing you said earlier that I think is, is is like really key is that if you don't love them, you need to leave them alone. Come on. But, well, I mean, why are you witnessing to them in the first place? Or why are you trying to correct them if you had no compassion for them? Well, 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 what's what's your objective? Well, if, you, well, if you don't love them, you've got blockage. you got blockage. <laughs> you're not, you're not, not trying to demonstrate the image. Yep. You, you can't minister effectively to a person that you don't care about. You, hey, you can't <laughs> minister effectively if you're not living what you're preaching about. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. That's the point. You're a sounding symbol or tinkling, tinkling brass. Exactly. Sounding brass and a tinkling symbol. And and people, that, man, that's, <laughs> that's how simple, boy. Man, we missed it. Exactly. <laughs> people, people are not impressed with your legalism and your conforming to legal characteristics. They are impressed with your love, your joy, your peace. Your gentleness. Your Can I say this? Can I say this? <laughs> people are not changed by your legalism. No. 
they're not changed by it, but they are changed by the love of God that's, that's, that's shared abroad. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Only way we can change a person is by the love of God. Come on. Listen, listen. You said we shouldn't we shouldn't be preaching to people with a love. But, here, but think about this. How in the world could you not love them when you're looking at where you used to be? <laughs> oh, it's easy, man. Come on. That's something right there. Righteousness. Self-righteousness kicks in all the time. It's like, I ain't like that no more. <laughs> I forgot when I was used to get drunk. <laughs> but you just forgot where you came from. You right. don't forget where God had to come to exactly. you. Yep. Exactly. That's where that melody comes from. Yep. And the Dutch was some of you. And yep. such is some of you. You know? <laughs> and I think that, that's why he wants us to understand. People want to be accepted. And then they need to be, see your image. Your image is to be Christ's image. In other words, they can see Christ in you. I think the, the and I, I think one thing the precepts, one of the precepts we have to embrace is that uh that we're gonna be rejected of them. We may well be rejected of the people well, that God has sent us to minister to. We're, we're rejected. In there. We're rejected. we're not appeasing a system. Their flesh. Yes. Exactly. Well, that that that's what 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 turns us away, I mean, what turns people away from us uh -huh. is when we caring about their soul and spirit, Come on, and man. we're giving them truths. We're, 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 we are shining a flashlight on their life, right. and they don't want it exposed. Come on now. So there is a, a the, the form of, of rejecting that light is rejecting you because that light is coming from you. They're yes. trying to turn you off. Right. They're trying to hit the off button on the flashlight that you're using, yeah. which is the gospel, or actually, which is love. Well, you know what, to me, to me, they're trying to get you to conform to their way, right? Yeah, yeah it's, think... it's, it, you're being, they want you to accept them for, by their, exactly, their, their parameters. Yes, sir. They want you to, to exist in their realm that makes them comfortable and exactly. that does not buck again Come what, on, bro. what pleasures them. Come on now. Soon as you, soon as you do something that takes pleasure away from them, yes, sir. Then there is the issue. <laughs> you know, we and, and and I'm guilty. Yeah, you we are. Something wrong. about me, of course, my guard comes up. Right, right. You know, so and and then I'm, I gotta instead of questioning me. I start questioning you. You, what is your motive? Exactly. You know what, 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 what makes you think that you, you know, that you're right and I'm wrong, or, or how could you say that about me? That's not me, and and you know, so on and so forth. Exactly. Uh, I even do that against myself when myself tells myself stuff that myself don't want to hear. Then myself is mad at myself. Yeah, <laughs> if man. that makes any sense, it it makes no sense. different than Paul. Those <laughs> things that I would do, I do not. Right. But those things that I wouldn't do, I find myself doing. Exactly. Who can save me? From the body of this death. From the body of this death. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and, 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 and Elvin, I think that's the whole point of saying what people can, when we minister to somebody, what are we ministering? To be saved from this, from yourself. Yeah. Oh man, it's it's we're saving you from yourself. You killing yourself. You killing yourself. We're killing ourselves, right? We are. We really are. And that's real. That's not a joke. That's a fact. That's right. A fact. And it's literally killing ourselves. So I think I think that's what I'm saying is it really gotta close and wrap it up is the fact is that we need to conform to the image, but we need to show and butter bell.